last morning waking up to this wonderful view. There's the castle over there. I've got my active wear on, I've got my little uh, cycle shorts because we're doing something very exciting this morning. Currently trying to pack up. We love, we don't like staying in one place on holiday, we love moving about because then you get to experience different hotels but you have to do this whole like rigmarole of packing up every time. Last bubbles on the balcony. Bubbles on the balcony. Oh. Are you going to miss this hotel? I am. Yeah. So beautiful, the Disney Contemporary Resort. And I'm going to miss the monorail coming through. We're off. Let's go. You lead the way, Lottie. Off we go, off we go, off we go. Bye, room. Loading on up. Oh, that's a heavy one. That's my one. So we're all checked out of Disney now. We had such a lovely stay at the Contemporary Resort. I just really recommend it. If you're, especially if you're only in Disney for a few days like we are, the Contemporary Resort, you just can't beat it in terms of convenience, can you? The fact that you can walk to it from Magic Kingdom is just amazing. I think some of the other resorts are, if I was staying for longer, I might stay at those ones, like the one that we, I don't know if you saw my video yesterday, um, but the Beach Club Resort and Yacht Club Resort, and we stayed at the Boardwalk Inn before, which was also beautiful. Beautiful. So there's just something for everyone. They're all so amazing. And I think the thing we've realized this time, because we've gone about so much more, um, the transport's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. The transport system, they've got like every different transport system. You could imagine monorail, Skyliner, buses, boats. Um, but them. Um, we did them all this trip, yeah. So it's just really, really convenient. So we're gonna miss Disney, but um, in terms of parks, we're finished, but we're gonna do like a bit more of the sort of like Disney boardwalk and Disney Spring again and now we can't check into our next hotel until later but we're doing something very very exciting this morning I've probably been looking forward to this the most just because we've never done it before um, so basically years ago on Visit Orlando's Instagram I saw a I think it was a picture not a video a picture of somebody doing like this clear bottom kayaking where you go in these like like exactly what it says clear bottom <laughs> kayaks um, and you can see sort of underneath you and I have always wanted to do it like we love paddle boarding we invested in paddle boards years ago and anything water based we just love although Maddie's a bit nervous that there's going to be gators <laughs> um, but yeah we're really excited so we're really looking forward to doing that bump and it's 40 minutes outside of Disney I was going to say it's 40 minutes outside of Orlando but it's not really because Disney is so big it's almost club whoop <laughs> it's almost classed as its own sort of little town almost so Orlando itself is actually quite big but in terms of like bang smack where Magic, Magic Kingdom is and the Contemporary Resort it's 40 minutes away and we're actually a little bit late because we've booked a reservation so we need to get going so we're very excited to uh, try this this morning. Why is it just so interesting this is just a road but it's just so interesting compared to the UK like look at it look, people live here hello like don't get me wrong we absolutely love Disney but I do love exploring other parts of Orlando like we're sort of whoa, we're sort of properly out the city now and it's just very local and it's really interesting like seeing people's like houses we just passed something that said happy birthday Jesus on it um, you're right darling Jesus birthday is on Christmas so we're in King's Landing look there's a bear Where? bear not an actual bear oh. <laughs> Lottie and I are off, we're the first ones on. We're together, then Maddie's going with our guide who's called Christina oh, there's and a there's a fish and uh, Ren and John are going together. It is so peaceful and we're the only ones on the tour and it's going to take about two hours and we're going out to some really blue crystal springs and I'm just so excited. So the ladies told us to just keep going until it looks like we can't go any further and it's a dead end and she'll meet us there. She's just getting John and everyone into the boats. Obviously at the moment you can't see anything because it's quite murky water, but we'll soon be able to see stuff because it's nice and clear. Here are the lads. Lads, lads, lads. Lottie, what did the lady say we might see? She said she's only seen a gator once because they tend to hang out in different water to the left, so we're not going to the left. We've stopped for a little paddle break. The water is so warm, it's like a swimming pool. 
it's crazy. And she said that it stays warm like this the entire year round. I didn't bring swimming costumes and I really wish I had. I thought, oh, it's going to be too cold to swim. I thought the water would be too cold and it's just lovely. So we're just going to get all our clothes wet and swim, aren't we? Yeah. On the way there, it was quite hard. It was like we were paddling upstream, so it was a proper arm workout. And on the way back, we're just floating, so it's just so peaceful, hence why I've got the camera out. We're not quite good at working together on the steering, though, are we? So apparently, we've gone a mile and a half up the river, and now we're going a mile and a half back down, and it is just absolutely stunningly beautiful like ah, <laughs> stunningly beautiful that was so much fun we had such a good time didn't we yeah it was, it was really really good although we've just had the ordeal i don't know why i didn't pack so last night when we were getting ready like and packing up in our hotel i got out clothes and i got out swimming costumes and then i was like no it's too cold like because in the mornings here at the moment in february it is quite chilly so i thought oh we, we won't swim so i left them and then she was like we can swim because the springs are like really warm all year round which they are so the kids wanted to swim anyway so we were all swimming in like denim shorts and stuff so we've had to change everybody she was saying that if you go left you go like into the alligator bit don't you yeah. and i was saying is anybody else as fascinated about alligators as we are and she was like every tour asks about the alligators but we're just fascinated by them we love it we love a good gator story don't we so now we're absolutely starving because it's nearly 12 o'clock and we haven't had anything to eat or drink. And so, it quite energetic. and it was quite energetic. I feel like I've had a bit of a workout. My arms are going to be sore tomorrow. Um, so, we are going. Oh, and then, sorry, my tip was to make sure you pack swimwear if you're going to go. And it was get up and go kayaking and it was absolutely brilliant. Um, but Christina, our guide, has told us where we can go and to a gas station. So, we're going to go there. And then she also recommended there's another really beautiful springs that we can go to um, and just have a look and go for a little walk and stuff. So we're going to do that because it's actually really nice to have like a bit of a sort of chilled day isn't it mm -hmm. so yeah. but at first i have a diet coke that is needing to be drunk somewhere with my name on it so we're going to go and uh, then go and check out these springs which i believe are called rock springs so i need to show you a few of my notable snacks we went to subway there was like well it was a gas station with a subway in it so i got this because i mean look at this kit kat birthday cake i don't even really like kit kats that much but I love birthday cake type things. It's massive. Like, I don't even think. And then I got these. I don't even know what these are. These are soft bake chocolate chip mini cookies. I got a white Snickers. And John got a white Snickers. Yum. We're just saying that America is so much cooler than where we live. Like our town specifically. <laughs> like the UK is lovely, but our town specifically is not as cool as Orlando. Um, and we're now in Kelly Park and it's just like this massive park and there's like like a sort of volleyball over there and like people are just chilling with barbecues and it's not even like the weekend it's just midweek it's really quiet and yeah 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 look at this so this is wildlife we may see we've already seen a big sign about alligators but we might see a wild turkey we also might see a black bear <laughs> and an owl Look at this. So you just walk along here and then there's like, careful because people are, are there like lying down, but there's this, just this beautiful, clear, natural spring water. <laughs> arrived at our next hotel which is the Endless Summer Resort at Universal. We are so excited so we're here for three nights and we picked this one just because of the sheer size of their family rooms. We just thought that they looked really really good so I will quickly show you now because we've just checked in. I think there's two buildings because we've just got a little bit confused it's taken us a while to find it but I think there's Dockside and Surfside and they're separate hotels within the same resort and we are in Surfside 
and I think these are classes like the universal like value resorts like it's really good value for money and it just looks really good so I'm going to quickly show you now. So here's the room, little wrens in here. So you've got two double beds in this bit and then if you look around, if I just spin around there's like a little mirror vanity area here and what I think is really cool which obviously like you don't get in the Disney hotels you might get them in some but you certainly didn't get them in the one that we were staying in was you get a little table area which I think is really good especially if you were staying longer because then you could get you've got a little fridge and a microwave you could um, get your breakfast and stuff which we do really enjoy doing because obviously it all adds up on holiday so it's good to have some meals in so like we might even get some cereal and stuff to have for breakfast but we are only here three nights so we will see and then if you come in here there's some oh there's some people chilling in here so there's another little room in here which is cool with a tv and then let me show you the view from outside you can just sort of see maybe it's probably a better view from the other this bit the kids room. but look there's a swimming pool that's shaped like a fish and then the that's the kids room <laughs> and then there's a little bathroom oh! <laughs> <laughs> you Wally. There's a little bathroom in here. It's really, it's really nice. And then there's all our suitcases. We are going to go down to the pool for a bit because all the kids have been saying all day is when we get to the hotel, can we go in the pool? So they are super excited. The pool looks lovely here. It's shaped like a fish. So we're going to go down there. We've probably only got about an hour and a half before it starts to get a little bit cooler. It, the sun sort of sets about quarter past six at the moment here in February. So we're going to go and take full advantage of it. I might even be able to read my book for half an hour, which would be amazing because bar reading a tiny little bit on the plane, I have not read anything or holiday because Orlando is not really the place where you relax and read a book it's just really full on in the best possible way so we're going to do that I might even have a little drink at the little pool bar and it's just going to be lovely so we're going to go and do that I'm going to leave this camera upstairs but I might take my phone but in all honesty I probably won't video anything down there so we're going to go and enjoy that now we had a lovely time down at the pool the kids would literally just splash in the pool all day long and I managed to read about three pages of my book but something is better than nothing. It was just really nice to relax a little bit. My eyes twitching, I don't know why, I am really tired. And now we, well then we came back up to the room and we had showers and got ready, everyone washed their hair. That took forever because I always find in like hotel rooms, the hair dryers just are not very powerful at all and we all have really thick hair. I didn't wash my hair because I didn't get my hair wet, but the other girls did. And mm. then, and you did, yep, and Ren did. And now we are heading to the City Walk, so you Universal City Walk, that's Universal's um, version of Disney Springs. So where we're staying, the Endless Summer Resort, you can get a bus and the lady on the desk said it takes about six minutes on the bus, so it's not very long at all. So we're going to go down there and we're going to get some food because we are really, really hungry. Um, I'm looking forward to a nice dinner, so um, I'm not sure where we're going to go yet. I think City Walk's quite big, so we're just going to have a little explore. I'm worried that we haven't booked anywhere, but hopefully we'll be able to get in somewhere. Sure. Come on. We seem to be bringing out two cuddlies each. That we have bought Winnie the Pooh and Tigger out with us. And who else? Baby sprinkles. Tigger and Sprinkles. And I said, if we're bringing them out, they have to carry them the entire time. I'm not carrying them. Not once. What, what's wrong? I can just do this. Well, that's true, yeah. <laughs> City Walk. I didn't film much there because it was just so busy. It was like the busiest place we've been because I think what happened is we timed it. We got there just as the parks were closing. So there were like thousands of people coming in the opposite direction to us. Everybody was trying to get food because it was dinner time. It was like prime time. So a tip I think if you were going to go there is either to book if you can. I don't know if you can book any of the restaurants or try and go like a little bit before like like I'd say maybe like go about six o'clock-ish perhaps because like between seven and eight like when and well seven eight half eight is just like prime time and it's so busy so we ended up walking around a bit and we ended up deciding to go to the Hard Rock Cafe which they told us originally that it was going to be an hour wait actually it was only about 23 minutes and it's a really good system they text you to tell you like 
that you're on the wait list and then they text you to tell you your table's ready. So actually, even though it was ridiculously busy everywhere, like everywhere you looked, there was a person. Um, it wasn't actually that bad to get a table and the food was really good, but everyone was just really tired. Like Lottie looked like she was about to fall asleep in her chicken tenders. Um, it was just so full, it's just so full on here in a good way, but everyone just gets so tired. Um, so we decided to come back. Um, we didn't like sort of stick around there very, very much. And now it's about half past nine. I think we're just all gonna go to bed, ready for another exciting day tomorrow, which is universal. So I will be filming tomorrow. I don't know when I'll upload this, but I really hope that you are enjoying following along with our Orlando videos. I am loving making them. And after tomorrow, they're gonna like change pace a little bit and become a little bit more sort of like relax so I'm hoping that I'll be able to because my favorite thing to do is film sort of like arty videos so hopefully I can make them a little bit more chilled after tomorrow so I will see you bright and early tomorrow bye <laughs>